Welcome back to Frostpunk. Our current situation looks pleasant enough. We have uh, plenty of uh, coal in excess in our uh, balance. We are gaining plenty of wood. Uh, we're also gaining plenty of steel. Raw food, we probably could use more raw food. But for that we either need more people or more steam cores. But I think we're good. About two days. So... Actually, I think this is enough, having two hunters and uh, one hot, host, but hot house. But as soon as... Well, I actually do have a steam core. I don't have the people for it, though. How many medical posts do we have? One, two... Three, four, I believe. I suppose I could take some of the engineers. We only have 16 people who are ill at the moment. Does this show us how many... Oh, I have six medical posts. And that means we can remove two of them. And we can build a hot house instead, so we get more food. I wonder if that's close enough. It isn't. The uh, steam hub doesn't light up. Okay, let's tear down this one and this one as well. And if we need another uh, medical post, we can always build one there. Now let's speed up time. Currently researching the outpost depot. I think we're producing standard meals, good. And the temperature will soon drop to minus 40. And also, I think day 15 is a... Uh, critical day for us okay now let's build a hot house there and the outpost depot has been researched so we have plenty of wood and metal at the moment i'm wondering if we should go directly into mechanical calculators or if there is anything well lighter scout sleds could be useful the steam coal mine we need that and we need it very soon as well flying hunters i think we'll go with the hot house insulation no, we'll go with the Flying Hunters and then we'll take Hot House insul Insulation after that. And we should also build uh, one of these uh, outpost depots. It's a massive contraption. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's like an elevator out of the city, more or less. If you can call this a city. <laughs> I guess it is a city, considering the uh, state of humanity at the time. I should speed up time again. Okay, so the hot out is done. Let's put engineers in there. And currently they are at livable temperature. That will drop on day 15. Scouts have reached the large convoy. 
This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. That is uh, useful, workers and engineers. So that's 45. They'll be back in 20 hours. Do we have enough houses for them? No. Okay. Um. Let's build another steam hub. I feel it's such a waste to build them on that level. As we'll get the uh, upgraded um, range thing. However, we do need to build a steam hub because um, we're going to have to build other buildings. Uh, let's pause the game quickly here. Okay, so there is room for a tent there. Which means I don't need another fighting arena at the moment. Let's look at the steam hub. I think that is too close. Let's just uh, build a road. Also, if I build a tent there, will it be covered by that steam hub? Yeah, okay, we'll build a steam hub there then. Also, we need more tents. I believe we have two sawmills, right? Yeah, we have one out there, and we have another one up here. Scouts have reached the coal mine. The coal mine is automated. Its engine is pressurized, but the mining has stopped. The snow around it is untrodden, and an eerie silence hangs in the air. More coal than we can use. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. We can either take the stored coal, which is of course useful. We can dismantle the machines for resources, but that means that we will lose out on the ability to get coal from this mine on a regular daily basis. So what we'll do is take the stored coal and then I think we will send these guys back to the city. I don't want to go to Winterholm until the very last moment, as I've mentioned. Are all of our uh, workshops working overtime? Yes, they are. Good. The temperature map looks okay. That's gonna change in uh, day 15. Okay, so we have enough housing now for uh, people. Interestingly enough, they moved away from the houses in here. Or the tents. I guess we can extend that road up to the um, sawmill.
What a peculiar sound. Flying Hunters has been researched, then let's get the hothouse insulation, because we need that when the temperature drops. And if we are able, we also should get ring 2 on that thing. Construction... Um, Hunter's Hangar. Or Hangar. Uh, we can just upgrade these buildings. They require quite a bit of uh, steel, these things. This provides 3 per hour. This provides 20 per day. The hothouse is 30 raw food per day. As is the hunter's hangar. And these are 15, so... Yeah. And also they use less workers. Let's take a few workers out of this sawmill to uh, help with the building. And I also think we can take these ones out. Now we can upgrade the other one as well. And I think we need to put the steelworks into overtime. this thing done yet? Yeah, we need 20 steel and 10 workers. I don't dare use that until uh, these guys have returned, though. Ah, I keep forgetting to increase the speed. I, I do apologize for that. Hothouse insulation has been researched. Now, we need 50 steel to research that one. So I think we'll go with generator range upgrade for now. I doubt we'll get that done. It's 8 hours at 100%. I wonder if we should do uh, an emergency shift on one of these. I actually think we need to do that. So the hunters, they move now flopping out in their little blimps. Put these workers back. And Scouts Unit number two have returned safely to the city. We can pass a law. Probably could do that a long time ago, I just haven't noticed. Triage, I don't think we want to do that. Dueling law, I'm going to completely stay out of that one because that's just horrible. House of Pleasure. No, I don't think we want to have a house of pleasure. Let's take the care house. But we won't build that yet. One of our people died. We must make sacrifices to survive. wonder how they died in a workshop researching stuff. I would have understood it if it was in a mine, but... Generator range upgrade has been researched. Good. Now, I think we just need to... Actually, we also need to upgrade the steam hub ranges. 
It isn't critical currently, so we can wait. It's going to be very critical around day 20 or so. You guys, the only place you can go, I believe, is Winterhome. That'll take you two days and 12 hours, so let's send them off then. And also... Can I end the shift? Maybe if I just do that? No, that doesn't affect the uh, discontent. Eleven being treated. Twelve, good. I think we need to build just for being safe. Let's build another um, medical post. And actually, let's tear these two buildings down. So we can uh, put it farther up. These are working in overtime, I believe. Yes, good. Scouts have arrived safely with 358 coal and one steam core. Nice. Go on, people. Temperature falls. How is our coal? still in surplus for now that might very well change now because i can't have places being uh chilly is a low risk of getting ill let's turn on the heater in the most critical buildings go and now let's build another medical post here and tech workshop let's build that there and we soon have enough steel there we go let's go into mechanical calculators and upgrade we are out of steel yes i know and here we go Man from Winterhome. He found an exhausted man at the edge of the, our city. He said that he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winterhome is dead. Everyone's dead. There is no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. And those were his last words. So we're alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. They were, there were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. And quite the extensive fall as well. We should never have left Britain. We should have stayed in London. Surely it couldn't have fallen like this. They're all dead? Why did Winterhome fail? Are we all going to die here too? And notice that massive drop in hope. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterhome spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. I must give them purpose. Choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They have lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed Winterhope. 
winter home. Now, I haven't tried the faith and spiritual strength path, so we'll go with that. I did like the order and discipline, although it was quite authoritarian. But let's try the faith and spiritual strength and see what that brings us. And let us pass the law house of prayer. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. A child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. He must face his loss. Ah, even more hope loss. Crikey. Um, House of Prayer. That has a substantially higher uh, influence range than the Order buildings do. I want to move people out of the houses not covered by this uh, church-like building. Probably need workers in these buildings as well. The unconvinced want to leave. The Londoners. Sir, you have convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try and to change your mind. You say that faith will save us? Nonsense. What, are we going to pray for food when we start to starve? Shouts one of them. If we don't try to reach London, we will end up like winter home. Calm down, we're not going to die. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. So we have 19 people in the group of the Londoners, and the tendency is that more people will be added to that. Okay, so you don't have anywhere to go at the moment. And we still lack the steel. Could use a uh, house of prayer over here as well. Let's um, tear down this building. Some workers in there. Our coal supplies are now getting very uh, close to the uh, limit. Workers in the medical post. How many of them do we have? We have four, so we can handle 20 people at the moment. This building has been completed. I think we will wait until both of the churches are done before we do the sermon. And that building is not covered. Mechanical calculators has been researched. 
Um, we need a steam coal mine ASAP. How many beds do we have spare? We have 34 vacant beds. So that means we can tear down Okay, so we have room for three. If I build that there. And that should be sufficient for now. Let's build a road like that. up a little bit houses of prayer have been erected giving people a place to stay and pray together and find comfort in faith hope rises not much but a little bit let's call a sermon the words of our spiritual leaders will restore hope. That also increased hope. Eating problems. Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Uh, let's... Eat some homes. then we have enough of the houses with a livable yeah because that also influences those that means we can turn off the heater in several of these buildings I should have picked all homes oh well but now we really need that steam coal mine as quickly as possible because now I believe we are running a massive deficit in coal. Let's make um, an outpost team and we'll send them to the coal mine. ceremony it probably also can build a care house I think I want to build that in here. Let's tear down these two. We can build another tent here. Should have plenty of homes, by the way. 54 vacant beds. There we go. Now we can build... Uh, care house. Oh, I need to deal with that road. Um, slow down, please. Why is that road going like that?
There we go. That should also increase the hope slightly. The Londoners gain more followers. Sir, the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I see. That was five people joining the Londoners. We have 17 hours left of coal. A care house has been established in accordance with the new law. That also increases the hope slightly. Good. Steam coal mine has been completed and we'll just go ahead and upgrade one of the coal mines to a steam coal mine immediately. And the next thing we should research. I think medical post upgrade, but we need more uh, steel. There we go, medical post upgrade, go ahead. And the uh, expedition has reached the outpost, so let's build an outpost here. And this one will send 800 coal to our city every one day. And that certainly helps extensively with our uh, coal supply. Outpost depot is plus 800 per day. And when this one is done, that will also be an extensive massive help to that. We have people here, right? Yes. Medical post upgrade has been researched. Uh, there was one thing, the lighter scout sleds. But I think that this might be a good place to end the episode. Um, so far I feel that we're doing okay. I got the hope up. Uh, not comfortably, but at least I got the hope up again, so it isn't critical even though it's blinking. And uh, we are managing our coal supplies. Now I think we have an excess of coal. Yes, quite comfortable as well. So that's excellent. So with that, I think that yes, we shall end the episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.